goddesses checking this out i am see the spiritual goddess here for your new moon and pisces reading yes leave me a moon emoji if you're ready to take on this new moon in pisces yes let's run up the comments also don't forget to hit that like button that really helps me in the algorithm so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this reading today i wanted to go ahead and do a reading plus ritual guidance so i wanted to ask spirit what are we manifesting this new moon in pisces is all about new beginnings guys so for a lot of you your manifestations are going to be coming into fruition so you want to go ahead and get on doing some work if you want to be proactive and get some tools to help you go in the right direction definitely stay to the end of the video so you can check out my ritual guidance so let's go ahead and get into the cards we have you're very close to achieving your goals gibbous moon full moon eclipse conclusions are within reach hold your vision fix moon meditate and contemplate new moon in pisces <laughs> the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus all right guys so this is a very interesting reading i'm picking up what you guys are manifesting for a lot of you i'm seeing changing your financial stability for a lot of you i'm also seeing that the main thing you're asking for however is peace the ending to a situation the ending to a cycle spirit is telling you that this new moon in pisces is going to give you a glimpse what your life can be what the things that you want to manifest i feel like for some of you you may have been going through a hard period and it may have seemed like things are going like back to back things have been kicking up for you especially with this mercury and retrograde i feel like some of you you are just tired you're like at the point in your life where you're, you're asking spirit like okay I, I have this goal and i want to achieve it but is it really going to happen am i being listened to and i feel like spirit is going to actually show you in the new moon in pisces for those of you who want to do manifestation work in particular i'm feeling like this is going to have to do a lot with introspective introspective work this is going to require you to go in within yourself a lot because i'm picking up that even though these past few months you may have felt like things have been happening and it's been a burden or you may have felt like what now understand that spirit is doing all of this for your greater good that's why we got the hold your vision card here the reason why we got the hold your vision card is because your ancestors are telling you to keep fighting the good fight not to give up spirit is also asking you to i'm um, getting with that hold your vision it's also asking you to start to visualize what your dream life would be like guys i'm picking up that for a lot of you you may have started to write these things down but spirit is actually asking you to start to do visualization work i think that's where we got that meditate and contemplate for a lot of you this new moon in pisces is going to be and i feel like this is really for a lot of us is going to is going to be eye-opening it's like you're going to get a glimpse of what you what you're manifesting for some of you your manifestations are going to come true but you're also going to be left in the crossroads where spirit is telling you to contemplate is this the life you really want and what i mean by that is for some of you you may have a hard time letting go of some old patterns of some things that you've been doing that that hasn't been serving your highest purpose and spirit is actually calling on you to let that go and take that leap of faith and be okay with letting that whatever that was in the past stay in the past for a lot of you we got the price prosperity lies ahead so spirit is telling you that prosperity is in your favor it's coming to you i'm just picking up whoever's watching this video 
you're meant to see this. The spirit is telling you like you're so close to achieving your goals. You just have to continue doing the work. So before I pull some ritual cards, for some reason I'm being drawn to pull some final messages from your ancestors because I feel like I want to dive deeper and see what messages they have to give to you. Wasn't actually planning on doing this, but for some reason I'm getting called to pull a couple cards from this deck. Let's see what message your spirit wants to give us in regards to this new moon. Okay. The first card we have is Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. And then we were just talking about take that leap. And the card we got is leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. And then on the bottom of the deck, I just want to show you keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand behind you. Man, if y'all don't go ahead and take this leap, this new moon, if you don't go ahead and do the work, if you don't do nothing else, Spirit is telling you guys who's watching this to at least write your goals down and start to really, really take those steps to make those things happen. For some of you who have been thinking about starting a YouTube channel, this, I'm telling you, I don't know why I'm picking up that or starting your business or going back to school or whatever it is. Spirit is telling you to go ahead and take that leap. This new moon energy is going to bring you a fire. I know we're talking about water, but water is very powerful. But this is going to like push the current forward. Like this is going to give you that push forward that you need. And Spirit is telling you, go, go ahead and take that leap. We're here to catch you. We're divinely guided. For some of you, you've been getting thoughts of something and you've been like, I don't know. And Spirit is telling you, no, this is what you need to do. Take that leap. Stop being scared. Don't have fear. We're here to catch you. I would definitely suggest guys to really really to get in touch with your angels i would definitely suggest meditation i already know i pulled two cards for the ritual i already know one of them is going to be to meditate because we got that here meditate and contemplate since we're going into new moon and pisces for some of you you may want to do a spiritual bath you may want to uh, meditate and listen to some meditation music with the spiritual bath or a spiritual shower. Um, let's see what else we got. We got the nurturing card. So this is out of my chakra card. So this definitely, this definitely sounds like probably doing some grounding work, some root chakra work. You may want to listen to some root chakra frequencies while you're meditating. So let's go ahead and see. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Earth, root chakra, earth, grounding, grounding. So um, this is the sigil. This is out of my sigil magic card. For those of you who's looking to do some candle work, you probably want to use this sigil. When we talk about root chakra, we're talking about prosperity. When we talk about prosperity, we're talking about earth, money, coins. So for those of you who are looking to manifest a particular amount, maybe you just want to change your abundance. Maybe you want to change your luck. You definitely want to get into root chakra practices. So I would definitely suggest taking this sigil down, putting it on your candle if you guys are into candle magic. Maybe screenshotting this and putting this in your phone for the new moon. So let's go ahead and read this. It says, ask the element of earth for grounding, stability, strength through the time of chaos. So this ritual makes sense because we are going through the new moon and Pisces and we got the conclusions that are in, are in reach. I'm picking up for a lot of you this is going you're going to need to stay grounded during this time i feel like a lot of you are going to be feeling this shift this these changes happening in this new moon for those of you who are who have been going through this tough cycle i'm telling you baby this is the end of this cycle so i would definitely suggest doing getting grounded doing some root chakra start writing down your goals you guys heard me play the uh manifest manifesting mantra in the beginning of this video you i would definitely suggest maybe if you want to do some spiritual work and listen to that while you're in while you're doing your spiritual work i would definitely incorporate that into your ritual so let me know what you guys think also don't forget i will be posting all my ritual guidance and everything like that in the tarot den so make sure that you guys sign up for my email list on see the spiritual guidance.com also guys keep the party rocking with me thank you for everyone who's checked out my station head make sure you guys join me over there we get into tarot astrology we get into some music we also get into different things like pop culture and i just kicked the
Okay, guys, so this is a new interactive way for us to connect. So make sure you guys follow me there. Until then, all my gods and goddesses, don't forget to always rock your crown. See you in the next video. Peace.